Good skill by Broadhead. Onto his left foot and the shot lacks power and it's comfortably gathered by Diego Bernaglio. But what a ball that was from It was a Andre fantastic Gomez piece vision. of uh, piece of vision from Andre Gomez. Found young Nathan Broadhead on the right hand side, who's actually started the game pretty confidently as well. Mm. So would be a little bit disappointed with the with the left foot shot. It was a little bit tame, but good little bit of skill to get past the defender as well though. Gibson trying to get back, Gelson Martins is round him. It's a poor challenge from Lewis Gibson. He was never going to get the ball, it was an easy decision, but it was a sloppy well, pass from Morgan Schneider yeah, in the first place. Wally Lopez, once of Manchester City, with an opportunity to open the scoring from the penalty spot. Martin Stecklenburg famously saved two against Manchester City a couple of seasons ago. And saves, saves one. another one now, and he saves the rebound as well. I tell you what, we've got some spot kick savers in our squad, haven't we? Martin Stecklenburg saved one from Aguero, saved one from De Bruyne, and now a slight match to City connection, saves one from Ronnie Lopez. Good save as well. Straight into the wall, dinks it over the top, Umar Nias is there, he's onside and it's a very good oh. save by Benaglio. Ball to Seamus Coleman, right hand side. Coleman crossed into the middle, and Umar Nias. Well, he tried to control it with his shoulder and then tried to flick it past the goalkeeper. Martins gets there first. Gibson manages to get goal side. Martins spins away from him, shooting chance, delays it, rolls it back, step over, shot comes in. Oh, super save from Martin Stecklenburg. Good bit of football, that. he's a tricky customer, this Gelson Martins, and Lewis Gibson's having a bit of a torrid time at the moment. Nathan Broadhead, very compact on the back, aren't they, Monaco? Seamus Coleman, good footwork by the Irish skipper. 1-2 with Broadhead, Coleman's Jumps. inside the penalty area and oh. drills it across the face of the goal. It was neither one thing nor the other. Great link-up play. He between certainly the two. was. Michael Keane heads a goal, was flicked on by Tom Davis and an acrobatic save by Bernaglio. And that's the closest I think we've come to a goal, Graham. I think you're right, Daz. Yeah, Michael Keane with a towering header there. I'm not sure, I think the Monaco players are claiming for a foul there. I'm not quite sure about that, but towering header, Tom Davis was involved as well. But and it comes again, it's another outswinger. Of course, Michael Keane again, he wins it again. Tom Davis on the turn. And he wasn't a million miles away. Nice sharp effort from Tom Davis. Beat the keeper, but flash wide of the upright. And Everton just putting the squeeze on momentarily. It's going to come in from the right hand side. Plenty of men back for Everton. In it comes towards goal. And it almost drifted straight in. And Jemison as well was, uh, wasn't a million miles away. The uh, Brazilian. Gomez chips it forward, looking for Umarnias. Might bounce for Umarnias. He's through here, Umarnias. Oh, and he's in. Oh, 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 <coughs> Excuse me, what an inventive effort that was. Do you know what? I thought I thought, I thought he'd let it. Uh, his, his chance had gone, but somehow he scooped his leg up from somewhere and, and managed to make a bit of contact on the ball, and it cannoned off the post. That would have been the goal of the season done and dusted before the end of July. That wasn't far away, was it? Well, they've obviously worked on that in training there. We know how good Lucas Dean is from the edge of the box. He scored a good few last season mm. for us, and this was brilliant. Gilby Sigurdsson picked him out. Seamus Coleman screams for it and gets it on this right-hand side from Gilfie Sigurdsson. Coleman yeah. back in field to Bernard. Bernard has a little look up, drills it towards Lucas Dinier on the far side of the penalty area. Batter Umar Nias shapes to shoot, works it onto his left foot, takes oh. a deflection. Yeah. Seamus Coleman has scored for Everton. Oh, no. The Toffees take the lead. Umar Nias' shot loops over. and uh, well, I think yeah. he'll be okay. He's, ta he's taken a little bit of a knock, Seamus, but I'm sure he'll be okay. Brave, wasn't he? Yeah, it was a brave, brave header. Yeah, he's taken yeah, one straight in the face, yeah. He's, he'll be all right. He's, he's a tough so-and-so. Picked up by Umar Nias and sprints away and 
good ball towards Kevin Morales who's onside because he started his run in his own half of the field and he skips past his man Morales now, real Theo chance Walcott. Theo Walcott time to steady himself oh it's oh. cleared off the line by Bolo Torre I don't think he knew a great deal about it Theo didn't do a great deal wrong and I thought that was going to be the second goal it's a decent first touch from Theo Walcott slides it past the keeper but unfortunately not Defended. past the defender On the sticky surface, it hangs up. Walcott crosses towards Nias. Tom Davis shooting chance. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. The Toffees of it would work again. Umar oh. Nias is in there. And this time it's blocked. Panzo spoons it in the air. Davis wins it again. It's pinball on the edge of the penalty area. And Monaco bring it away. And Everton has been desperately unlucky not to be two goals ahead here, Graham. Yeah, that one hits the underside, uh, hits the crossbar. And with that, the referee blows the final whistle, Baz. There we go. It's finished here in the oh, Sharma in Switzerland. Oh, Everton 1, Monaco 0.